Hi everyone, so this video is going to be something that I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be really useful and just in time for summer as well. And you'll obviously know what this video is going to be by the title of it. But um, I've always had a really, really bad relationship with my legs. I absolutely hate my legs, everything about them. And when you particularly hate a specific part of your body, the more TLC you give it, the more you can kind of grow to like it. So I'm just going to take you through my top tips to getting sexy legs um, ready for the summer. And my first tips are to do with the condition of your legs. So it's all about exfoliating, polishing and moisturising. And I've got two exfoliating products here that I think are great to give your legs a good exfoliation. And I've got the Yes to Carrots See the Body which carrot moisturising body scrub which looks like this and this is really gentle great for everyday use if you tend to get quite dry legs really moisturising and really soft and um, nourishing on the skin if you get kind of sensitive skin on your legs I know a lot of people who have dry skin tend to get that but um, it's really important to exfoliate your legs get the dead skin cells off because when the new skin is revealed it's always a lot more glowing and beautiful than the skin that's covered in dead skin cells and the next one is the Soap and Glory um, Flake Away Body Scrub which looks like this, I've got a tiny bit left and it's got little granules of peach in it and it's got a very oily consistency and it's really really great at removing um, any kind of fake tan build up but it's not so good if you want to fake tan straight afterwards if you want a body scrub that you can just fake tan straight afterwards something like Clinique Body Sparkle Polish would be great or just mix a little bit of sugar in with your um, body wash and that would be a great exfoliator as well the next thing is to polish your legs and I like to use this kind of round um, very kind of bristly brush in circular motions on my legs to kind of get the circulation going um, with a nice kind of rich lathery shower gel and really really get them looking polished so that you do it in circular motions and it just makes the skin look really glowing and really polished and really fresh and this is a really great tip if you suffer again from kind of quite dry skin on your legs. Um, then obviously you've got to make sure you moisturise your legs because moisturised skin always looks so much better. Just compare it to a leather handbag, one that's been in the sun and isn't moisturised and is all shriveled up, it just looks wrinkled and horrible and the one that's been taken care of always looks a lot fresher. So I am loving at the moment the Dove Supreme Body Silk um, Body Cream which is like the normal Dove Body Silk Body Lotion but it's just a lot thicker. So it's really great on legs, it just looks like that, it's just a rich cream. But this is really, really great on legs, sinks in easily, doesn't leave you feeling oily and it's great for the summer. So that's a really nice product. And um, next I'm going to talk about hair removal. Now in order to have great sexy legs, you need to think of hair removal. It is an important step and if you've got hairy legs you're just not going to be feeling that sexy summer goddess thing. So um, I'm going to talk about shaving first just because that's what most women prefer but when choosing a razor make sure you choose a razor that has got four blades or more never go for the three blades and this one by Gillette has got five blades you probably won't be able to see it that well but it's got five blades and it's really really good because it just gets the hair all in one go. Um, if you're using you know um, these kind of cheap disposable razors stop doing that immediately they're not good for your skin and they're not good for hair removal really invest in something a little bit more expensive but that will do the job so I really really like um, the Venus razors the Gillette Venus razors they're really great um, most women get in the shower and just straight away start shaving but what's better to do actually is to wait a little longer once you've got in the shower or got in the bath because the water softens the hair and makes it a lot easier for the razor to just glide over the skin and the hair to come off a lot easier and then the kind of finish you get is a lot smoother so that is a really important tip as well and to make sure you 
shave with the right help as in you can invest in some shaving foam or conditioner works really great I sometimes like I don't shave my legs now but when I did I just use sometimes a little bit of conditioner and that works really well because it's a great lubricant between the skin and the razor next um, if you are a little bit braver and you don't like shaving then waxing is definitely the way to go and this is what I've been doing lately and I'm absolutely in love with the Veet Easy Grip ready to use wax strips which look like this they come in different um, for different skin types I've got the one for sensitive skin and for normal skin the blue is for sensitive and the pink is for normal skin and the reason why these are so great is because of the shape if you can see, whereas normal wax strips are just square, these have the rounded tip, so they're so easy to just pull off. And literally, I can just pop one on my leg, pull it off, a couple of those, and you're done. And they're really, really great. I can do both legs with just one of these. They're double-sided. You get six in each pack. And they're absolutely amazing. I can't recommend these enough. They're really, really great if you like a more longer-lasting um, and healthier way of hair removal, really, because it pulls it from the root and they pick up pretty um, short hairs as well. But if you don't like waiting in between hair removal sessions and you like it all to be smooth right now, then epilating would be the way to go. And the Braun Silk Appeal Wet and Dry Epilator, which looks like this, would be great. Um, it comes with a smart light, so it kind of really, really brightens and gives you great vision as to where you're epilating, so you can get every tiny little hair. Um, I kind of alternate between this and wax, depends just how I'm feeling, but I'll just show you what the light looks like. I'll put it on and it's going to make a horrible noise, but just so you can see the light. You can see that right there. Very bright light, and it just gets every little hair, and it's really, really great. So if you don't like waiting in between, this is really good. And um, you do become kind of pain immune with these. It hurt me the first couple of times. It doesn't hurt me at all now. But after you've used that type of hair removal, whether it's waxing or epilating, because you're removing hair from the root, you tend to get a lot more redness in the skin. So try applying just some aloe vera gel onto your legs to just soothe it down. You can buy it anywhere. This is just a silly one I had lying around the house, but whatever one you have would be would work amazingly well. It's just to kind of get your get the redness down. Um, next I'm going to talk about tanning. Now tanned legs to me always equals sexy legs and you need to kind of make sure your legs are always tanned even if it's in the depths of winter and nowhere else is. Make sure you've got tanned legs because they just look so much better and so much more healthy and thinner when they tanned as opposed to chunky white pasty legs. Nobody likes that. So um, if you're very fair skinned and you only like a hint of colour, the Dove Summer Glow um, body lotion would be good for you because it just gives a really light glow to the skin and is really easily applied. But if you're a little bit braver and you like something a bit more darker, you like to go that kind of J-Lo-y colour, then the Sam Moritz Instant Self Tanning Mousse is really really great and this is great as well because it's got a kind of olivey undertone as opposed to a brown to a to a orange undertone so it looks really really natural and it's really really lovely but if you're stuck and you just need a quick pick me up a quick wash off tan or anything like that then the Maybelline Dream Sun Glow Instant Shimmer Makeup for Face and Body is a great wash off tan as is the Sally Hansen Perfect Legs but um, this just gives a bit of a deeper colour and whether, whereas Sally Hansen looks like um, like you've just got tights on this gives you super tanned glowy sexy legs so this is really lovely but um, make sure you apply your tan if it's a tanning mousse not a body lotion obviously but if it, you're using a mousse or a spray make sure you apply it with gloves and if you get those kind of chunky streaky parts in your skin where your skin feels a little bit like you've applied too much try adding a little bit of milk into your bath because milk contains lactic acid which can help reduce the kind of stains of tan that you get so lactic acid is really good for removing tan lines um, next we have got just a few little tips on I've just written it down here that's why I'm looking at it so um, a few little tips on legs as well um, cellulite 
we all have it we all hate it not much you can do about it um, like I've said in a video before creams that are rich in caffeine can help but that doesn't always really really make that much of a difference but dry body brushing with a soft bristle brush like this um, I'm not sure where I've got mine from but I know the body shop one is really great I have got that one too but I can't find it at the moment is really really great just brush always towards the heart in quite firm strokes and it gets your circulation going and it does really reduce the appearance of cellulite because you're you're kind of massaging almost the fatty acids that cause cellulite um, if you have got a lot of scarring on your legs or varicose veins or that kind of thing you know who said you can't use makeup on your legs Something like Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus because it's oil free and water resistant and non transfer. If you've got a little bit of a blemish, so for example, I'm just going to show you right here. I've got a scar on my hand where I burnt myself not very long ago. And if I apply a little, little bit of foundation to it, you'll see. I mean, obviously, this colour is a little bit light for my hand because I'm very tanned at the moment but you can just very lightly kind of build it up and make it look a lot less visible as if you had only a small area and you wanted to use concealer you could use something like Benefit Boring Concealer a very strong long lasting concealer or foundation if you can see there it does look reduced you need a couple of coats and I would apply it on your legs with a little foundation brush just to kind of get a really good application and hide varicose veins um, because they're really horrible and I get those quite a lot for some reason and this is really good at hiding them so really consider that and if you just want to kind of even out the skin tone on your legs and make it look all glowy and perfect then MAC face and body foundation would be great because obviously it's formulated to work on your body as well as your face so that would work really well as well but um, oh, and make sure you just apply some powder onto it. If you have got any bruises or anything like that, try applying eyes to them as soon as they happen. A lot of the time that can help reduce the bruising and make it not come out. But um, if you do suffer from like very dry ankles, very dry knees, and that kind of thing, then the Body Shop Body Butters are absolutely great at getting rid of that, as is the Palmer's Original Formula Cocoa Butter. So both of these are really great at getting rid of the super dry skin that normal body lotion can't really fix. But um, a couple of just little tips. Um, if you want to make your legs look longer, nude heels make your legs look super long and are really, really flattering. And if you want to make your legs look thinner, if you just apply a small amount of a shimmery highlighter down the centre of your leg, so if this was your leg, if you apply it just down the centre, it kind of draws the eye to that area and makes your leg appear longer and more thin and just gives you that lovely glow. Um, make sure you wear the flattering length with your clothes so something that hits just where the part where your legs are getting thinner and not at the chunkiest part of your thigh or the chunkiest part of your leg. That can really, really help. And make sure you've got a nice pedicure because feet are an extension of legs and you don't want to have sexy legs but horrible feet. So, yeah, I hope you found this video useful and let me know what you think about it. I'm sorry I look such a mess today. My hair is just being an absolute nightmare lately. I'm seriously considering shaving it all off but um i hope you found this useful and if you have got any other sexy leg tips make sure to put them in the comments below and i will see you all soon bye guys